Iran is trying to find more ways for diversifying its economic presence and Eurasian Economic Union under leadership of Moscow has been a choice as almost all members are Iran's neighbors by land and sea. And the fact that Russia is also now under US sanctions makes this union more attractive for Tehran. And this is why IRI is being integrated in this union more and more day by day. After Iran's temporary membership in the Eurasian Economic Union which includes Russia, Kazakhstan, Armenia, Kyrgyzstan, and also Cuba, Moldova, and Uzbekistan, caused by a speedy increase in the trade with these countries based on preferential or zero custom tariffs. In recent four years, this membership has been beneficial for all members, and that's why they have already ratified to make Tehran a permanent member. Now, all members of this economic union, including Russia, have ratified in their parliaments Iran's request to become a permanent member and to conclude a free trade agreement. Thus, the trade tariffs for about 80% of goods between Iran and EAEU would come to zero, which would have a great impact on boosting trade between this union and Tehran. Not only this agreement will increase Iran's export of products to EAEU members, but also FTA will facilitate Iran's import demands from the Eurasian market. Iran's recent membership in Shanghai Cooperation Organization and also imminent membership in the BRICS, which also includes Russia, China and India, have paved the way for it to get closer to these neighbors and eastern powers despite US sanctions which were imposed to isolate Tehran. All these new measures have in a broader perspective activated new international trade routes and corridors including the China's corridor through Iran to Turkey and Europe, North-South corridor from Russia through Iran and to India, Pakistan corridor through Iran to Turkey, UAE corridor through Iran to Turkey, and finally the Caspian corridor through Iran to the Persian Gulf. I have said it before in another episode, but it's worth to insist on that these changes are not beneficial just for Tehran but even for the neighboring countries. For Tehran, it is especially important to finally launch a regional economic framework aside from its efforts to return normal economic ties with Europe. And that would mark a huge change in Iran's economic behavior and priorities. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and also to share your opinion with me in the comments.